statement we've been saying all summer long, we need rain, holds true again today. We got a little bit of rain, around a quarter of an inch for many towns from central Minnesota through northwestern Wisconsin, though up towards the Iron Ranges where the fires are raging and they really need that rain, it was more like a tenth of an inch. But we're not quite done with low pressure systems yet. These lows that are departing the picture could keep a chance for rain going for Tuesday night. But then Wednesday things will change up as high pressure takes over for a day and makes it sunny. But as early as Thursday, a trio of fresh low pressure systems could start to slide towards our area. And even though they're troughs right now, which you could say that means they're just immature lows, they're not fully formed yet, I'll give them enough time and hopefully they will become full-blown lows and bring us rain from Thursday through Sunday. So the three of them combined here could be bringing us what we need. Keep our fingers crossed for that. Now here's what we get, at least for the short term. Tonight in Minnesota, low temps will be in the 50s and lower 60s with a 30% chance for more rain. So if your town didn't get enough today, there's a chance for some follow-up till shortly after midnight. In Wisconsin and Michigan, the chance is 50% with temps in the low 60s for the low temperatures. Now that follows up then tomorrow with sunshine in Wisconsin and Michigan and highs will run about 75 to 80. Mostly sunny sky is shared with Minnesotans where low temps or actually high temps will be a little cooler inland, 70 to 76. Should be around 76 by the lake. That's a little bit of compressional heating from that northwesterly wind. Well, the sunshine of tomorrow becomes another cloudy day on Thursday. And that's when the rain chance begins, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All those chances for rain going from 30 to 60% each and every day. Hopefully, yeah, we get what we need. And to find out more about that, of course, please take a look at CBS3's evening newscasts at 5, 6, and 10 p.m.